So you got your car nicely wrapped and it's been about a day and it goes out into the sun and you see a bubble. <laughs> We're going to talk about why you got that bubble and how to avoid it if you're going to be wrapping it. Let's go. A lot of my customers ask me, it's like, oh, why did I get this bubble? And I got wrapped somewhere else, you know, what's going on? And I think the best way to do it is to talk about it with visuals. I did not squeegee any part of this yet. And just so you guys can see the outline, you can see right here is the end of this glass and you'll see the inside once I do that. Number one is not squeegeeing hard enough. When I think when you're a beginner, you tend to be really, really t soft. And if you look at this, there's some lines right there and you're just not you know, committed enough in, in the squeegee technique. Number two is I think sometimes kind of, they want to do everything with their fingers. So they have like a wrap glove and then they squeegee down, you know, like this. I'm gonna just split it, okay? So this is like hand, soft squeegee. And then this one right over here is going to be um, missing squeegee stroke. So I did this and then you know, I, I squeegeed, but I didn't overlap. Okay, so that's what happened. No overlap. And then maybe you did do a good job, but you didn't post here. Okay, so no post. I'd like to show you on the other side. You can see that there's still all this white areas I didn't fully adhere. This is no overlap and you can clearly see there is no overlap right here in that white line. So this looks decent, but then there is no overlap. So you miss that spot. This is hand only. You can see this is the worst of all, to be honest. The hand is really good, but because how soft it is, you just, it's really hard. It's not as even as a squeegee like this, right? Even the only time I really use is like when I'm doing using the palm technique, when I'm into the valley, I try to be as even as possible even with my palm. And you can see this is soft. This did nothing. You're just too timid about your squeegee strokes. So now that you see this demonstration, this is why you get bubbles. So let me go ahead and use the true seeker, which is the heat gun. And you can see this is no post heat. And you can see that when I post heat, there's other areas that pop up. So this is such an integral part of wrapping. If after you're done, one, this kind of tells you where there's bubbles and you could get rid of it. It expands and then you can see those bubbles. There's no overlap. Check this one out. You could clearly see where it was an overlap. You see this little squiggly line all the way down the middle. And what that means is when people are wrapping, instead of doing overlap like this, they go here and then maybe they missed it. So you can see that right there. This is a hand. That person really likes using their hand when they're wrapping. Bubble city everywhere all right so there's not very good pressure and then last of all i got a little bit of heat on the soft side this is i see i think the most common one that i see is like it's just too soft you need a good amount of pressure right so when you do this you can see the result this is a lot of bubbles that come out if you do use the heat and these come out you need to get rid of it you either need to you know get rid of the bubbles right and as you do it you can see right with your fingers or whatever you need to do or you need to lift it back up and redo it right so you can see again back here same results let me go ahead and flip it so you guys can see this is what's happening in the substrate or vehicle when you are not squeegeeing the proper technique so hopefully you learn a thing or two about bubbles and why it occurs and if you did please subscribe and if you have any question about bubbles let us know in the comments below and that's a wrap. We'll see you next Wednesday.